And what is up, everybody? Arthur here, arthurtut.com, and we're coming at you with one more episode on Atomic Habits by James Clear. Now, what I wanna get into today is going a little bit deeper, but is talking about what are the big mistakes that people make when they try to set new habits. And what James laid out here was really was really insightful because what, what he pointed out is that when people work to uh, create new habits, they focus on the wrong thing, and you probably see I'm I'm looking up I'm looking at my notes here because this is really important. So I, I want to make sure that that I get this right. And so what he pointed out is that there's there's different layers, right? There's there's different layers in inside of ourselves, right? And the first layer is the outcome, and that's usually what people focus on, right? This is where somebody says, "I want to lose weight," or "I want to be." a YouTuber, or I want to be a famous footballer, right? People focus on the outcome, or I wanna have a million dollars, right? That's the outcome, and that's what everybody focuses on. They think, all right, I want a million dollars, so I want, you know, I'm gonna set new habits. I want a million dollars, and they focus on that outcome. The next layer down, though, is the process. Right, this is kind of like the, the systems, if you will. So if you wanted to get in shape, a process could be, I'm gonna to go to the gym three times a week, right? That's a little bit more specific and it's a little bit more meaningful than I wanna lose weight. Saying I wanna lose weight is very generic, non-specific, um, there's no specific goal, there's no specific action. So giving some process of your system of how you're gonna do it, it helps take it to that next level and it helps to make it a little bit more effective. But the next layer down, the third layer, and this is really the core, this is where the magic actually happens, but this is when you start looking into your identity, right? Again, going back to the weight loss example, if you identify as somebody who's fit and healthy, right? If you say to yourself, you know, I believe that I see myself as somebody who is fit, I'm healthy, I eat good food, I exercise regularly, I identify as somebody who is healthy, that is gonna help you to make all of the right decisions. Because think about it, if there's a conflict, if there's a conflict between your identity and the outcome that you want, that conflict is just gonna butt heads and you won't be able to make any progress. For example, if you say to yourself, I wanna lose weight, but then you look at yourself and you tell yourself and you've got these negative thoughts in your head saying, you know, I'm lazy, I'm a slob, I can't get in shape, you know, I genetically, I don't have the right genetics to get in shape and all of the, like if you self-identify as somebody who can't get into shape and can't get healthy, it doesn't matter how much you wanna lose weight, you will always be conflicting with yourself because you'll, you'll never put your time in. You'll never fall in love with the process of working out and going to the gym because you don't identify, you don't see yourself as somebody who is fit and healthy and can make that kind of stuff. So you will always sabotage yourself. Sure, you have this great goal, you have this great idea that you wanna lose weight, but you will find every excuse that you can to sabotage yourself, you know? You won't eat the right food. You won't work out when you're supposed to. You always come up with an excuse. Oh, I've got to work late today. Oh, I've got to meet up with friends. Oh, this thing came up. Oh, I got to go to the post office, whatever that might be, right? You will sabotage yourself and you will find ways to cut yourself down. And so really, truly, if you actually want to set clear habits and clear goals and accomplish them, they have to be tied into your self-identity and how you view yourself. And if you have a negative self-identity, this is where you start need to putting in the focus to making changes to how you view yourself so that you can move forward in your life. If you see yourself as somebody who's bad with money, it doesn't matter how much you wanna be a millionaire, you'll always find a way to sabotage yourself so that you don't get those millions of dollars, right? You have to see yourself as, I am somebody who's good with money. I am somebody who makes smart investments. I am somebody who makes smart business business decisions. I am someone that when I pick up the phone and make a call, money arrives on the other end because people want to pay me money because I am, you know, I am experienced, I am valuable, I know what I'm talking about here. I've got the reputation, I've got the skills, I can I can back this up. I can make this happen. And that's where that positive belief 
comes in, that positive self-identity, it's how you see yourself that's gonna allow you to actually accomplish your goals. So if you have big goals that you wanna accomplish in your life and you're, you're struggling to actually make it happen and get the right outcomes, it's likely because you're focusing on the outcome of what you're trying to achieve as opposed to looking at the process or as opposed to looking at the identity of how you identify and how you see yourself and you need to get down to the root, chop it off of the root, put in some good seeds, plant that, put some fertilizer, put some water, get some sunshine on there and start growing up some good plants, some good thoughts, some good mental energy. And that's gonna help to move you in the right direction as you move forward in your life. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, whatever, throw your comments down below. I do love to hear from you. I can't emphasize this enough. I love to hear from you. So throw something down below. If you've liked this video, hit the like, subscribe, smash the notify bell buttons, all of those good things. And we will see you soon in the next one.